Hi guys, today in this video I'm going to show you back to school tips for high school and college on organization and study tips that should improve your grades if you follow these. These tips are mostly for college, but you can follow them for middle school or high school. So I know that most students want to be outside playing, enjoying the nice weather, but in reality you have to actually go to class to get good grades. You're paying for college, you might as well go. Too many students are lazy and they skip it, but you have to actually hit the books, study to get good grades and get your degree and know what you're doing. Especially at the start of school, get in the habit of going to class and get in the habit of many things like participating in class. This will increase your knowledge way further and stop procrastinating. I know you hear it all the time, but it's fairly easy. Don't procrastinate on your homework and look for clubs to join. I was a band geek in high school and all my friends were in band and I loved it and I had a better high school experience that way. But a tip I recommend to better increase your grades is go on Rate My Professor and find the best teachers at your school. This is a site where many students rate the teachers at a specific school. I would say all of the schools in the United States are in this website. But it's really cool because if you schedule a teacher, you can look up that teacher and see if they're good or if they're a bad professor and what other students think about them, whether they're a good lecturer or they're a good one-on-one -on -one person. And you can even look up if they're good looking. But what I'm trying to get at is if you have a really good professor, you're going to have a really good semester in college. You're going to enjoy studying and working on homework because you have a great professor. So let's say you're done with class with that great professor and you have your agenda book and you get your syllabus for the year. As soon as you get your syllabus, write everything in that syllabus in your agenda book. And any other assignments you have during the course of the semester, write it in your agenda book because if you physically write it, you'll remember it more. And for those of you who aren't procrastinators, wink wink, this should help with the procrastination issues. Another tip I have is to rewrite your notes that you have. So whether it's in a smaller class or a lecture, you can rewrite your notes and have a better understanding of what you're learning. So for example, here I just write my notes on my iPad and then I take a notebook and rewrite them in pencil. So as I'm taking notes, it better ensures that I'm gonna actually take the knowledge and remember it for tests and quizzes and exams rather than just taking notes in the lecture and totally forgetting about it the next day. So another tip to retain the information you learn is to make flashcards. This helps me tremendously. Especially for foreign languages like Latin, it's really great because you can give yourself little tests all the time and you can keep on testing yourself. And actually writing the note cards makes me understand a lot more just writing them. And then it's an extra bonus testing myself in the future, especially right before your test, right before you take your exam, it's great. There's also apps where you can create your own flashcards too. Okay, so to get better grades on your exams, you have to save all of your papers. I know this can be hard sometimes, but you can review your old papers for future tests. Next, it's pretty obvious that you have to be organized for school. You have to know where things are. You have to know where you put them. And there's a lot of supplies out there for you to stay organized. You can use dividers for all your classes and put all your dividers in one notebook. That's what I like to do. Or you could have a notebook per class or you could have a folder per class. You could have a notebook per class. I like to keep everything together, but that's just me. I know there's different people out there with different organizational styles. But if you're in high school or college and you have A day, B day, which means you have some classes one day and some classes the other, have a binder for one day and then have another binder for another. And you can do that with notebooks or folders too. That way, if you are running late, you can just go and grab your binder for that day and just walk out the door. And all this depends on what you like to, so tailor it according to you. But to prevent yourself from running late every day, always keep your stuff in one spot and always keep it there in case you do run late in the morning. And always have your school supplies ready the day before you go to class. And what also helps is having your clothes picked out the day before you go to class. I know you girls out there, you like 
to change your outfits constantly and know what looks good, but if you actually pick out your outfit the day before, it should make your mornings a lot easier and faster. You're just gonna have a better morning and a better day if you're not running late, you know? But to make your day a lot better, eat breakfast. You have to eat breakfast. This helps you retain information a lot more if you have something good to eat in the morning. I know it's hard to get in the habit of this, but please make yourself eat. Thank you guys for watching my video on my tips for back to school. And be sure to check out my first video on my backpack essentials for high school and college. And tell me in the comments if you are going to college, what are you majoring in? I'm very curious about that. Or if you are in high school or middle school, tell me what your favorite subject is. Stay tuned for more back to school videos and I'll see you later.